Hey guys, this is Foolish Mortal 42 back with some more World of Warcraft Classic with a Cyclovir, our um, Orc Shaman, uh, Enhancement Shaman. Um, it's been quite a while since I recorded. I've been a little under the weather. Um, it's spring allergies, you guys know. Um, but before I get started, I just want to take a moment. Um, it is now um, March 22nd, 2020. For everybody watching from the future, um, we are right in the middle of uh, the COVID-19 um, pandemic. Hopefully by just a couple of months, this will kind of be over. Um, and I just want to say that um, I hope everybody made it through okay. Uh, it's really scary as everybody, as you guys know, I'm a nurse. And, in real life, my fiance is a medical doctor. Um, she actually has had several cases uh, positive through her office in the last couple of weeks. So we've all been really worried about that. Um, and I guess it's just really been on my mind and I've not really been able to record um, just mentally to get into the right place to record. Um, so, um, after this episode, I'm not really for sure if I'm going to record for a little bit. Um, I mean, I'm definitely going to get back into it. Uh, I'm also starting a new job, um, at the end of this month, uh, which is going to be a big change for me because there's more commuting involved. Um, and I'm hopeful, I've got my fingers crossed, uh, that I may be able to upgrade my internet, um, Unfortunately, not fiber optic like I was hoping, but uh, something at least a bit faster because at the moment our public library is closed, uh, which for the last couple of months is what I've been using to upload my videos. So this video probably will be quite short uh, just so that I can upload it on my horribly slow home internet at the moment. Um, so I hope you guys kind of stick with me for the next little bit. Uh, I'm probably going to make this video probably about 15-20 minutes long uh, because this quest uh, that I'm going to be recording is quite short. Um, but uh, as you can see, or as you probably can't see, I'm level 30. Uh, I'm just going to take a brief look through our inventory because I've gotten some upgrades. Um, the Hooded Cow, it's just a cloth. Uh, it's from a quest in uh, Hillsbrad. Um, I don't have a leather cap yet, but I've got a quest coming up that I'll be able to get one. Uh, these Barbaric Shoulders are really good. Um, uh, you can buy those in the auction house, or if you're a leather worker, you can make these yourself. No, it's not too bad. Uh, I found that. Uh, that actually works really good for us. Uh, and then blazing chest piece, agility, stamina, and then I put um, a health enchant on it. Uh, robust bracers of stamina. They're a little bit low, uh, but I put seven strength on it um, from uh, Flagel. Um, so that's actually pretty good. I'd have to find a fairly good, holy cow, everything is damaged. I didn't notice that. I have to find a, a pretty good set of bracers to replace that. Uh, and pretty much the same with these Pathfinder gloves. These are all like random drops uh, or crafted. Uh, put five strength on that. Um, I think I got that from a quest. Um, I bought these out of the auction house. Um, they're definitely starting to get some age on them. Uh, and I found these in the auction house too. Um, Anything that I bought out of the auction house, I paid less than a gold for. Uh, I did do a run through Shadowfang Keep as the tank, ironically. I did pretty good. Um, whoops. And uh, all I had was a really, really low level shield and a very low level mace. Um, but you really, you don't, you don't do that if you're tanking. You don't do that to do damage. You do that to put... Rock Biter, and you spam Earth Shock, and that's pretty much all you do. Um, and you just try and rotate your targets, and because uh, that's like it's a pretty good threat. I mean, it's um, a taunt basically, uh, and you can uh, 
tank. Uh, I have seen Shaman tanks uh, all the way into level 60 content, but they have to have a very good guild to get the equipment that they need. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of really good male tanking gear other than I think in BRD, in the arena, that arena run that we were doing, that Savage Gladiator chain, it's male. It's got a lot of, uh, you actually get defense um, defense and armor off of that. So that's, if you get that, you can you can tank pretty good. <laughs> but anyway, Shadowfang Keep, um, so I tanked that, did pretty good. Uh, that's a quest reward. And then, I'm going to say I found that, I actually found that. Uh, while I was doing some questing and then the only big thing that I splurged on was a cobalt crusher I found it in the auction house for I'm wanting to say It was like nine gold and the market price was 16. So it was um, uh, Or mark uh, moving price is 13 uh, if you can see that on my auctioneer um, So I got a pretty good deal on it and I put weapon damage plus five on it Um so it's this sh that weapon should last me at least until level 40. So So <clears throat> Um, but yeah, it should last me till level 40 when we're doing, uh, probably Zulfarak or, uh, there is a mace in a axe in Scarlet Monastery. That's pretty good. So, but anyway, so let's get, actually get started here since I've yammered on long enough. What brings you here? Uh, so we're up here in Thunder Bluff, um, at the, um, Shaman Trainer, uh, and also, see, I had all this planned out in my head. So we got Wind Fury Weapon. I'm hoping to be able to show that off. It is probably the most overpowered and underpowered uh, enhancement that you can put on your weapon. Because um, it's only 20% chance, um, and I went on and put a point in uh, Elemental Weapon, so it's actually a little, you know, a little bit more than that. Um, so, uh, and basically, it's hard to describe, but when you hit something in this prox, you do two more attacks with extra melee attack power. So, your damage is really spiky, but when it hits, it hits really, really hard. So, hopefully we'll show that off. Um, so, anyway. Wins. Guide you. Uh, the winds of Kalimdor rush to meet you, and you shall be counted among some of our most powerful sisters. I'm proud to see you have come this far and have such a promising future. The element of air is difficult is a difficult one to control, but I have faith that your skills will overcome any obstacles that are placed in front of you. Head to the very south of the barrens and enter Thousand Needles. It is there, far to the east, that you will find Pratt Cloudseer, and she will teach you more. Go in peace. All right, so off we go. I need to find a. Um, I'll run by the blacksmith really quick. I didn't realize my gear was that damaged. But anyway, yeah. <clears throat> so your rock biter, it gives you a consistent amount of damage. If that makes sense um, and a lot of threat so that's basically your tanking enchant so you want that on a fast weapon what um, you here? Farewell. Um, that you're going to be tanking with uh, but you can also put it on a big two-hander like this and you'll get pretty good crits I've actually gotten crits above um, 300 a couple of times uh, while using that. Uh, Flame Tongue is basically the same thing. You're getting about the same damage curve, um, but your fire enchant Greetings. and crit separately. Um, so yeah, we'll just go down to Free Wind Post um, because we're, it'll be right there. Um, and then your Frost Brand, 
Um, I don't really use Frost Brand that much because it's not a consistent proc, um, but it can slow stuff down. Uh, so it it's situational. Most people use this for um, PvP. Uh, they'll put it on a fast weapon and um, and just basically hit stuff. Uh, it it comes in more play, I think, later on when we get dual wield in a patch. Um, so <clears throat> also picked up um, a new lesser healing wave. So hopefully I won't die as much. And da -da -da. Um, grounding totem and nature resist totem. Um, so of course we can't use that till we get our air totem, which we're on our way to get right now. Uh, grounding totem, if you're facing off against a caster, this really comes in handy. Uh, so basically, if they're throwing lightning bolts at you, you drop this down, their lightning bolt gets pulled to this, and it saves you from getting hit. Um, see, yeah, it's just like one um, one spell. Last, you have to give it 13 seconds between cooldowns. Um, but um, actually, some... Um, bosses can actually cast an area of effect like um, there's a, a boss in um, when um, Burning Crusade comes out that has an area of effect shadow bolt so it casts like I think like 15 or 20 shadow bolts but you can drop that and it actually will absorb all of those um, I, I don't know if that was intended <laughs> Uh, but it works. It works pretty good. Um, and then your nature resist. It's just a good nature resist. You know, 20, um, 30 points of uh, resistance. Um, and the same with this uh, fire resist totem. So those are just really, really handy to have. Again, um, I've talked about how the shaman is a lot like Batman. And it really is. I mean, this is basically your... your your utility belt. So to learn to be a really good shaman, especially in five mans, you have to really know not only where the fight's going to happen, but what's going to be going on in the fight. So yeah, you can drop a healing stream pretty much all the time and nobody's going to complain. Um, but if you're taking on something that's got a lot of fire damage, you want that extra fire assist for your team. You know, it keeps the tank alive, it keeps the healers from having to use more mana. It's just really handy. Um, if you've got something that's poisoning, that's got a really potent poison, drop your poison cleansing totem. You know, um, you help the team more than yourself. Uh, even though I am going to be going into enhancement slash elemental. So we've been doing some questing out here. Um, and over in Hillsbrad, uh, I've got all three of the elite Hillsbrad quests. Um, and da -da -da. I've done quite a bit of Thousand Needles. Uh, this test of endurance is re it's really tough, but I'm hoping with the Wind Fury weapon, um, I will be able to solo that. But I don't know if I'll be able to put that. In this recording because I've already talked forever so we're gonna be heading right here to um, I think that's the I can't remember what that cave's called but. but if I see something on the way over there I'm probably gonna engage it just so you can see this wind fury proc if it even procs Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. What a good start there. We're just getting like right around 100. Um, yeah, I don't think my. Um, yeah, I'm not even maxed out on my two handed mace yet. Come on, you can do it. Proc! Proc! 
okay, so <laughs> yeah, that that happens a lot. <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of keep fighting stuff till this thing procs, okay. Well, well, we're here, so. <laughs> Get that um, hyena there. Pratt Cloudseer. Ah, I've been expecting. For the time being, I shall give you what you need to focus your spells and to call upon the spirits of air. Take this totem, and when you are ready, train with me some more. Walk with the earth. Increase movement speed by six, by forty percent. Increase attack speed by thirty percent. And that is literally the entire quest. I kid you not. Um, oh well. So yeah, I I don't know why. Um, I mean, I love the uh, the bonus there. Um, all of the other quests had like these really big like lore things and you know like oh this is so important and you know blah 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 you know but then this one is like oh well here you go i i don't understand why that happened there we go oh no it's not displaying how much damage i'm doing but holy crap look at that yeah <laughs> um i need to figure out how to make wind fury weapon um display like how much damage it's doing um oh forgot to skin that but yeah that uh when it procs it is um <laughs> laughable actually <laughs> So 80, 80, Harry. 76. Um, three hits, 263. So basically, a Wind Fury proc is like a crit. <clears throat> but the really horrifying part is your Wind Fury weapons can also crit. So. <clears throat> I'm actually going to log out and keep that. Well, no, let's, um, oh gosh, do I, do I want to try it? Um, yeah, might as well. <clears throat> I mean, they really, they really are like glass cannons. Um, let's see if that stacks with Ghost Wolf. I don't think it does. Nope. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of keeping an eye on this. This is already 20 minutes. I don't think I'm going to be able to get... Yeah, because all of these, you just you have to fight through so much stuff. Um, but yeah, like your Wind Fury procs can crit, and then your weapon itself can crit. So earlier uh, on a previous episode, I had talked about stacking strength to increase your attack power, and um, that's probably not the best thing to do. Um, you actually won't really want to stack agility. To um, get your crit up, because if your weapon, like my weapon, crits for 260 to 312, and, and I'm not even like fully. Um, uh, wow, these guys are already. Yeah, this this might not work, but. 
Yeah, two hits and a crit there. So, <laughs> wow, a little late on that swing there. Um, so basically what this lets you do is just swing and um, save your mana for your heals. Yeah. So now I'm flurrying. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's a bit on the insane side. Oh man. Ah. <laughs> oh, 338. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord um so yeah uh we've been working toward this <laughs> uh, but of course i have a 30 percent haste buff going uh, and then that's a 30 percent haste so yeah this is um these guys are about to have a very bad time whoa so the tricky part of this is uh, you go in here and um, see, I mean, miss, parry, glancing, just because I'm not like fully. Uh, but then it just like absolutely obliterates them. <laughs> Ooh, a solid chest. Yeah, I'd say this is this could be bad. It's just such a, um, gosh, just like you just never know. Like every fight that you get into is just going to be so different. It's very much a gamble. <clears throat> but the payoff is <laughs> absolutely insane. Oh, well, got some healing potions. Oh, and I got some big ones, too. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna... Oh, he vanished. Or, wait, what happened? Uh oh. <clears throat> I should not have uh, followed that dwarf that closely because that's basically what happened is he got in there and uh, vanished oh now they're evading oh no
<clears throat> well, this... Yeah, okay, I'm going to pause the episode. we got to get back to the very back of this cave. And, um, and I'll see you guys in just a second. Alrighty, we're back in the back of that cave. Um, and to start this quest, uh, this is the test of endurance. We've got to get Grinka's Claw. Um, and basically when you start this, it starts a chain of fights. Um, and I'm just, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm probably going to die. <laughs> um, but uh, let's give it a shot. I wish I had some um, potions or something like that. Whoops. I need water, not bread. All right, here we go. Usually you want to do this with at least a partner. We're going to get two... Not a promising start. Okay, that's better. This might be her. Well, now we're gonna get three. Uh, so now I'm gonna drop a stone claw. Just to give me a little breathing room. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I may die. I'm probably gonna die. Oh! However, I can also reincarnate. Uh. But I lost that buff, so I'm just gonna go on and. Uh... Oh well. All right, so now that quest is turned in back here at the test of endurance, and I'm going to go on and do that off screen. Uh, I don't think I actually get anything for it now. Or actually, that's a quest chain that leads into uh, Razor Fin. No, um, Scarlet Monastery, I think. So I'll uh, get that turned in, but as always, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I really enjoyed that fight. That was actually fairly amazing. I didn't think I was going to even be able to make it that far. So you guys are definitely good luck for me. 
Um, but anyway, I hope everybody stays safe during this trying time. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Again, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be able to do uh, with everything that's going on and um, my internet issues uh, with uploading videos. Um, but, uh, but I'll get this one uploaded somehow and uh, I'll see you guys later. And as always, hit like and subscribe and uh, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.